In this video we will teach you one of the most accurate and reliable scalping trading strategies ever. You do not need access to premium indicators for this setup. Moreover, the indicators we use for this strategy are actually better than some premium tools, for which you would have to pay hundreds of dollars. At the end of the video, we will demonstrate how to add them to the chart. In addition, we will show you how to set trade alerts so that you don't waste your precious time waiting for a signal. Traders, since this video saves you a lot of time and money, would you be so kind and like it? This way you'll support our diligent work. Alright, before we move on to the trading rules, we need to make sure you understand how these indicators work. Let's begin with this buy and sell indicator that's directly plotted on the price chart. We will use this tool as the first confirmation indicator. This means that whenever a signal to buy or sell is printed, the rest of the indicators must confirm it. Due to its simplicity, this indicator is ideal for beginners. The next two indicators that you can see at the bottom are very similar to each other, yet very different. The whole purpose of them being on the chart is to eliminate false signals issued by the first confirmation indicator. There is a specific way these indicators have to be aligned in for a buy or sell signal to be valid. So without wasting any time, let's understand how to use these amazing tools for placing buy and sell orders. For a buy signal to be confirmed the following conditions must be met. First, a buy signal must be printed on the chart. Second, at the time the label is printed the blue line of the indicator you can see on the top must cross the lower green band upwards. Third rule, the line of the indicator you can see at the bottom must be green. In addition, it must be positioned below the lower green band. If one of these rules isn't met at the time a buy signal is present, abandon the trade. If the rules are met, a buy order should be placed at the close of the trigger candlestick. The stop loss is set slightly below the most recent swing low. For take profit, target at least two times the risk. As soon as the market reaches one to one risk reward, move the stop loss to the break even level. Here's another example of a long entry. We see, at the time a buy signal was issued the rest of the indicators were aligned properly. For sell trades, do the opposite. First, wait for a sell label to be printed. Second, at the time the signal is present, the blue line of the indicator on the top must cross the upper red line to the downside. Third, the line of the indicator at the bottom must be red. It also needs to be positioned above the orange upper band. If the conditions are met a sell order should be placed at the close of the trigger candlestick. Stop loss is set slightly above the most recent swing high. The same money management principles should be applied as for long trades. For additional safety you can add a regular volume tool to the chart. Volume is not considered as a separate indicator, so if you have a free trading view plan, you can still use it as a fourth tool in your algorithm. The rules will stay the same, except you will need to check whether there is sufficient volume in the market before entering the trade. For example, if your algorithm tells you that right now is the best time to buy, check if the current volume bar is green and is taller than the previous bearish bar. You can also compare them by looking at the numbers at the top. If the bullish volume is significant, you can confidently open a long trade. If the green bar is lower than the previous red bar, no trade should be taken. Now let's test this strategy on the price of Bitcoin on the 5 minute time frame. As we can see, the strategy gives accurate trade entries with almost zero loss. Alright, now let me show you how to install these indicators to the chart as well as what settings to use. First, log into TradingView and open the charts. 
Then head over to the indicator section and type in UT Bot Alerts. Select this indicator by Quant Nomad. Access its settings and adjust the inputs, so that the sensitivity is changed to 2 and the ATR period to 6. For the next indicator search for Laguerre RSI. Make sure to select this one by Kivanch Ozbiljik. Access the settings and in the style section make some minor changes. Finally, for the third indicator, add SDC by Xi'an KM. Adjust the inputs and style just like we're doing right now. Ok, the setup is ready. Now let me teach you how to add alerts. First, click on the alerts button and select the UT bot alerts indicator. Choose the option for a long signal. Then enable an alert once per bar close. Create an alert for cell signal as well. You will get notified every time the indicator prints buy or sell labels. You need to check if the rest of the conditions are met before placing an order. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.